Hello and welcome to another lesson. Today we will be looking at angles in parallel lines. Now we're going to look at alternate angles and alternate angles are equal. We can always form a Z shape with alternate angles. Now do not write alternate angles as Z in the exam. You won't get any mark. You have to write the correct name, which is alternate angles. So they form a Z shape and they are equal. Corresponding angles are also equal and we can get an F shape for corresponding angles. Now notice the position of the angles. So they're in, this, on this, in the same position, just on a different line. So we have our two parallel lines and we have that line cutting the two parallel lines. We call it our transversal cut. And for corresponding angles, we will always be able to get an F shape from that. And we can get it right sided up or upside it down, however you turn it, left or right, back or front. Now the next one is pretty simple and that's the vertically opposite angles. Always form an X and they're vertically opposite and they are equal. Now if you notice, they all meet at a point and therefore all four angles would add to make 360. Again, vertically opposite angles are equal and they form an X shape. So these two angles are equal and these two angles are equal. So alternate angles are equal and they form a Z shape. Corresponding angles are also equal and they form an F shape. Vertically opposite angles are equal and they form an X shape. For co-interior angles, co means two and interior means inside. We can get a C shape or something looking like a C. And these two angles will sum to 180. So co-interior angles will form a C shape and they will add to make 180. So the C can be backwards or forwards, you know, you can turn left or right, whichever you want to put it. But once you can get your C, you know they're co-interior and they sum to 180. Now in this example, we're going to apply all these angle properties. Now notice that A is on a straight line with 43 degrees. If it's on a straight line, they're meeting at the same point. So angles on a straight line adds to 180, which means A is 137 degrees. Now B forms an X with 43. If it forms an X, then it's vertically opposite. So B is vertically opposite to 43 degrees, which means B is also 43 degrees. And C is vertically opposite to A. So C is also 137 degrees. Now we want to find angle D, but I think it's easier to find E first. 
So notice with B and E, we can make a Z, and Z angles we call alternate angles, which are equal. So E is alternate to B, which means E is 43 degrees. Now we know E, so we can find D. D is on a straight line with angle E, which means D would be 137. However, we can use a different rule. D is corresponding to A, so we can get an F shape. So if you want to use to say that they're corresponding, then that's fine. You still get the same answer. But if you found E and then you want to say that it's on a straight line with D, that's also okay. You still get the same answer of 137 degrees. F is on a straight line with D, or you can say it's vertically opposite to E. Either reason, you get the same mark. And G is on a straight line with E, which means G is 137, or you can say it's on a straight line with F, which means it's still 137, or you can say it is vertically opposite to D, which means it's 137. So there are many ways you can go about um, doing angle problems. So let's try this exam problem. So 113 is alternate to R, which means R is 113 also. And R is on a straight line with X, which means 113 plus X need to add to 180. So another way we can say this is angle B, Q, R is the same as or is equal to angle C, R, Q. So you may see it worded like this in exam, is equal to 113 degrees. So X would be 180, take away 113, which gives us 67. Now it's your turn. Pause the video and have a go at this. Remember, once you have two parallel lines being cut by one line, which we call a transversal line, we can always find alternate angles, which gives Z shape, corresponding angles, which gives F shape, co-interior angles, which gives C shape, vertically opposite angles, which gives X. So have a go at this one, and then I'll reveal the answer. So this was my method. You could have started with uh, vertically opposite angles and then you could have gone to use co-interior angles. You would have gotten the same answer. Okay, well done and I'll see you next time.